Hi guys, my name is Ivo and I'm from mytestedasp.net. In my current video series, as you may already know, we are talking about entity framework performance and various tips you can do to improve your application query code. What we had already covered is the famous M plus one when we create too many queries the lazy loading problem and when to use it and when not to use it and how to select specific columns from the data storage. If you haven't watched these videos, I suggest you take a look at them because they have quite a lot of useful tips. And in my current session, I'm going to explain how Entity Framework fetches the data from the database and when exactly we're calling the database and that's important because with a small little mistake we may do quite a huge performance hit in our queries so let's start first i would like to uh, show the following query i'm doing database.cats some work calls order by clause and a select clause i am essentially not calling the database here if I run this query, I will see that nothing happens. I'm not calling the database because currently I'm only building a query, but I'm not executing it. If entity framework is not told to fetch a result from the database, the query will not execute. So these three calls here are just chaining a builder to build the query but they are not calling the database with an SQL query so how to fetch data fetching data is done with some of the link methods which require executing uh, a final result I have listed some of the methods here, but that, that list is not complete. But these are the most common ones. Also, all async versions of these methods are also calling the database. So, to list to array into dictionary, essentially all the methods that are creating a collection from the database objects are calling the database. All the methods that check the database for something, for example, if any or all methods uh, or all objects are satisfying a condition, when we counting or when we try to see whether the database contains a specific object. A specific object. Uh, additionally, when we call first, last, or single, and when we aggregate the data, for example, with max, min, average, and sum, these methods will execute a query. For example, if I say here to list, I'm going to execute a query against the database. And if I take a look at my query, I can see that it does exactly what I said I need. It's selecting the names from the cats. It's filtering them by their first name, by the first uh, letter of their name, and their or. And the query is ordering their objects. So again, when I call a method which needs a result that's when where entity framework will fetch the result so how to make a mistake here is calling to list too early or calling any of these methods too early remember always call to list to dictionary count contains any all as late as possible in your main query what is the main query the main query is the top level query you're doing so the top level query here is this one here is this one what 
what is not a top level query is for example this one we're having a to list call in a select call it's not a top level query this is an inner query so it's fine to use to list here we will see that in a moment so the rule you should follow is to never execute to list uh, early if you have the option to execute it later always execute these methods as late as possible otherwise you will hit the following issue when i say i want to get all the cats from the database which has the following filter and if i run the query here i will see that i'm essentially getting all the cats from the database i'm not running a filter here I'm running the filter in memory, which is not as optimized as running the filter in the database itself. And if we just move the to list here after the where clause, and if we run these queries, we will see that the second query added adds the where clause which essentially which is essentially the better thing to do and if we take a look at some performance benchmarks we will see that calling to list too early causes quite a huge penalty for our application so essentially the rule you should follow is call to list call to array to dictionary any old counts in the top level query as late as possible this will uh, make sure that you will be able to use the database performance properly sometimes you are not uh, going to be able to uh, use the to list so early and you may need to call aware afterwards that's fine but make sure you checked all uh, all possibilities and you're sure that you have no other choice for example entity framework does not understand some of the c-sharp methods if i want to say start with a character i believe entity framework does not understand this one so if i run it i will get an exception that entity framework does not understand starts with a character so unfortunately i will not be able to transfer this method to the database actually i can if i write a string here but that's not the point uh, and when I have a method that cannot be translated as a SQL query, I will need to move it after the to list call. But I have to be mindful about that. There is nothing wrong to filter after the to list call. That's fine. But you should uh, be familiar what is going to happen in your database so that you are not making a mistake by introducing a performance issue in your application and the last thing i want to talk about in this video is about the inner queries but first i would like to thank my sponsors as you may already know i run open source projects they are mainly for the asp.net framework and they allow you to assert your web applications in a cool strongly typed fluent manner and the whole idea behind the projects is to save and to save your time and of course your budget these projects are run and maintained during my free time so 
I am extremely, extremely thankful to my sponsors, that's Softuni, Smart IT, and Novo Hire. Thank you guys, you truly rock. And if you want to help me with this channel or with these uh, projects, you can do by becoming a backer sponsor on Patreon Open Collective. Some people already did, or you can send a one-time donation via PayPal. Whatever you prefer, I would be very happy if you decide to contribute to my project. Okay, let's go back to the uh, code. We saw how two lists can make quite a huge difference. And that's only valid when you use it in the top level query. If you're not using it in the top level query, it doesn't matter with Entity Framework 3.0. If I call to list here, and if I don't call to list here, the result will be the same. Let's see. So I'm going to run the final query, which essentially selects from the cats table all other cats the current cat owner has and if we take a look at the generated sql we get an inner join with the owners and the join with the cats so that's uh, what it happens when we don't have a to list here and when we have a to list here the result will be exactly the same here it's the same query so using to list in the inner query won't matter that much in Entity Framework 3.0. Keep in mind that in older versions this behavior may be different. For example, in 2.0 this behavior generates a different query if you add to list or remove to list. So make sure you are familiar with the version, the version of Entity Framework you are using and how it translates the queries. But for the latest versions 3.0 and onwards it doesn't matter whether the toolist call is added here in the inner query so make sure you you are mindful about the fetching of the data because as i said this query will not fetch any data but this one will do so as a summary make sure you call to list as, as late as possible and not, not only to list but all the methods that load data from the database and if you want to use an inner query and want to call to list in there make sure you check how your entity framework uh, is working and what kind of query it will generate but with versions 3.0 it doesn't matter because we are essentially in an expression here so no call to the, to the database will be made that's it guys i hope you found this video useful and again if you would like to support me you may do it with patreon open collective paypal or buy me a coffee and if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below, or you may give my project a star. I will be extremely thankful. Bye for now.